Welcome to another episode of Making a Keto. And today we're going to be making a breakfast enchilada with a creamy green pepper sauce. Y'all going to love this one. So without further ado, let's get into it. get started with adding in our chorizo uh, guys this is a mexican spiced pork um there's a lot of different spices that they put inside of this uh pork it's, it's actually good um so if you haven't had it i really encourage you to try it so we're going to add in our chorizo and now we're going to let it cook down for maybe three or four minutes and then we're going to go ahead and add in our peppers our red peppers and our onions now once we add this in we're going to uh, turn it down to medium and just kind of let everything cook down. And uh, once we cook, once once this cook down, then we can move on to making the, uh, the green chili sauce that's going to go on top. So for right now, let's just let this sit to the side and simmer on low. All right, moving on. We're going to start making our green chili sauce to go over top of the enchiladas. And also, guys, um, all the uh, exact amounts and ingredients will be linked in the bottom in the description just in case you're new to the channel. Um, so where we're at, uh, we're added our garlic and now we're adding in our green peppers. All right, once you add in your green peppers, guys, just gonna wanna let it kind of simmer on medium heat, cook down a little bit. And once, uh, once you've done that, we're gonna go ahead and add in our heavy cream. Now guys, this is what's gonna give the sauce the, the creamy texture that you're looking for. Um, so what you want to do is once you add this in, you want to stir it in and get all the ingredients mixed. Then you want to leave it on your back eye on just low and just let it let it thicken out. All right. Now you want to crank the heat down on medium. We're going to bring back out our chorizo mix. And we're going to go ahead and add in the eggs. Um, now, guys, when you add this in, it's very vital that you don't have the stove re really high. Because if you do, it's going to it's going to scramble your eggs. It's going to cook them real fast. And you don't want that. Um, and besides, this still have to go in the oven. So keep that in mind. So uh, once we've done that, we're going to add in uh, some mozzarella cheese or any cheese that you're liking. Um, and this what it, this is what it should look like uh, after you finish mixing it down and getting everything in there. Just like that. You don't want scrambled eggs. You want it to look something like that right there. All right, guys, real quick. I just want to make everybody aware that I do upload every week. I'm actually putting out some awesome recipes. Um, I'm trying to increase my awareness on YouTube. So if you guys don't mind hitting the like button on the recipes that you like and subscribing to the channel, if it's helping you on your keto journey in any way. So I want to thank you in advance for helping out the channel. All right, back to the recipe. So we're going to go ahead and get out a baking dish and we're going to start building the enchilada. So we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of whipping cream to the bottom of the baking dish that we're gonna be baking the enchiladas in. All right, moving on to the wraps. Guys, I'm, I'm losing uh, these wraps right here. I got these from Walmart. They're uh, low carb wraps. They're like uh, five net grams of carb. Um, but if you have your own wraps that you make um, or you have any other wraps that you like to use, you can use them. Um, it's totally up to you. You do not have to use the wraps that I'm using in the video. Any wrap that you decide to use, you can use. Just account for it in your macros. Okay, let's finish this recipe up. We're going to start building and putting everything together. So uh, it's pretty simple, guys. You're going to go ahead and put in your chorizo uh, mixture, your meat mixture. And uh, we're going to just add in a pinch of cheese um, in every wrap. So we're gonna uh, do mozzarella. Um, I'm doing mozzarella, you guys can do whatever cheese that you like. Um, so once you got your cheese in, we're gonna roll it up like you're seeing me doing here in the video. And once you roll them up, you're going to place them in the pan. Got them in the pan, you wanna go ahead and make sure you have the bottom facing down so they don't kind of unravel. And pretty much once you do that, you're going to rinse and repeat. I was able to make, uh, I think, around six of them that was able to fit inside my pan. So um, I don't know what kind of pan you guys will be using, but you should be able to make six of these. And we're going to also add in some mozzarella cheese, sprinkle some of that on the top. 
And we're gonna go ahead and drizzle just a little bit more of that heavy cream across the top. Once you've done that, we're going to put these in the oven at 375 for approximately 15 to 20 minutes. And when they were done and out of the oven, this is what they look like. it for the video y'all know the model here we making keto easy by making everything keto hit the like button if you like the video subscribe to the channel if you like the content i'll see you in the next one peace